Hey, what's up, YouTube? So, uh, we were not doing very good during our live stream tonight. The nickel box wasn't being very nice to us, and I thought, you know what, let's start tomorrow with a fresh box again. And so I started opening up the rolls. I only had about probably, oh, 20 of them. And about halfway through, I did find this little coin right here. Uh, it's a silver wartime nickel. It is a 1942 P. So I was happy to get that. Uh, wasn't really getting much else out of the box uh, until I came across about four rolls from the very end, guys. And I cannot believe I missed this coin right here. This was an Ender. Uh, when I opened the box during the live stream, I didn't flip it over. I never even looked at the other side. I got a Buffalo Nickel and it was an ender, so I'm sitting there opening up the rolls, and I'm sorry I don't have live footage for this, but I did a reenactment just for fun. Uh, so here's the reenactment of me opening up this roll, and I swear I did not even notice it was on the end until it opened up all the way, and uh, the whole roll, you know how sometimes when you're opening, the whole roll just kind of rolls out of the paper, and it just and they all fell over and this was right on top this buffalo nickel was right on top unfortunately it is wiped totally clean this is probably one of the most wiped nickels i have ever seen however it's still a buffalo nickel and i still love it just the same uh maybe we'll make it a free a free coin uh during a live stream or something but i was so happy to get it uh, i knew we were due for one i just didn't think it was going to be out of this box so we did get a silver, we did get a buffalo, and I have two rolls left, and I thought just for fun, let's open those two rolls live just to see if we get anything. Um, like I said, the box has not been, wasn't given out much, and that's kind of been the way our boxes have been lately. Uh, we are getting some coins, um, and if we're lucky, they're, they're good coins, but we're not getting a lot of oldies. So I was kind of surprised at that because uh, usually we get quite a few good nickels. I don't know if it's if we're just running through some ones that have been, uh, you know, people have been going through them quite a bit or something. I don't know. But uh, let's see. There is an. Oh, I got a 1950. I got a 1950 right here. Oh, my gosh. If this is a D mint mark and we are near Denver, this would be a key date. And I'm going to say it's probably not going to be a key date. But I'm going to show you guys. We're going to look at this together, guys. That's insane. I literally only have one roll left, guys. One roll left right here. All right, let's look at this. There it is. 1950. If there's a D on the back of this, that's a key date. Here we go. Be a key date. Be a key date. No. I had a feeling <laughs> that would have been so cool to get a key date live. <laughs> that would have been awesome. But I'll definitely save that. We don't get very many of the 50s. Uh, I'll definitely hold that aside. So that's pretty awesome. All right. I think that's the only one that I saw here. Let's look through the rest of them. I got one more roll. All right. Last roll. That would have been so crazy to get a key date. Let me uh, zoom this back out so we can see everything. All right. That would have been amazing. Dang it. I haven't found a 1950 in a long, long time, guys. So whenever I get them here, I get so excited because we are near Denver. How awesome would that be to get a key date? I've never got one yet. All right, next roll. All right. La or, or should, I, should I say last roll? And guys, I don't see anything here, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to give us a like, subscribe, and share. Post your comments down below. We'll see you next time, and as always... Happy hunting.